Hello Aries, welcome to your monthly tarot reading. This is for the month of December already for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You might watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising to gain a little more insight into the month. Um, these are general readings, so take them as they resonate. Um, they may not resonate with everybody. I'm going to begin by pulling an oracle from the Shaman's Dream. Then I will continue from there. If you like this reading, hit the like button. Uh, share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Let me know if it resonates with you. All right. Let's see what we have, please, for December for Aries. What do we have for Aries? Let me say in advance, I hope you all have a great Christmas. I'm right around the corner here. What do we have for Aries? Okay, Aries. Here we go. First card is Winter's Dream, gestation period. Going through a gestation period. Hmm, those, um, this is winter. It's winter here. I don't know about where you are, but those seeds are in the ground, germinating. They're going through that growth, that, that gestation period where they're waiting for the thaw, for the growth. Let's, I mean, you know what? I'm going to look up just to see if I can... Find a little passage in here. The winner's dream is a summons to go within. Your life force longs to turn inward, like the sap of trees returning to the roots. Cast your gaze toward the deep and hidden places in your heart. Come to rest again in the sanctuary and safety of your soul and be at peace, basking in your crystalline clarity in that quiet place this is not hibernation. Do not fall asleep. No, it's not hibernation. Um, trust that the deeply buried seeds inside your soul, the ones you planted even before you were born, are stirring softly, ready to awaken with the spring. But do not try and rouse them early. Instead, Surrender to the quiet of winter's dream. Those seeds are germinating. Trust that. Those seeds are germinating. Let's see if I can take from the priestess of light that will um, perhaps give us a little more on that. All right. Miracles, ancient wisdom. Yes, miracles. Uh, each plant that comes up in the spring is a miracle. Um, miracles are ready to happen for you. All right, here we go. Let's see what we have, please, for Aries for December. We have collaboration coming in. Working as part of a team to create, collaborating with others. All right. We have the Ten of Swords coming in. Oh, we have the World coming in. Very nice. Let's keep going and see what we have here. We have the Five of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. The Magician. Ooh, I like the Magician. Very good. Okay. Um, and we have a bunch of cards falling out here. Um, we have the Nine of Cups, that fulfillment. Oops, I'm going to have to move these up so that you can see these. Here we go. Um, the Hanged Man, uh, 
the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Hermit as well here. Hmm, okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Hmm. Heartache. Look at the anguish in her face. She's tied to this damaged heart. She's tethered to it. Needs to be released. There needs to be healing. Okay. Let's clarify all of this and see what we have here. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. The world. Oh, Three of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. Divine Union. Partnership. We have the Three of Swords, too. Again. So there was some kind of heartbreak here in some relationship, some partnership. Um, let's see if we have another clarifier. All right. The Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Um, this was a collaborative effort. This was teamwork, partnership, something. But it left you wounded somehow. There was hard work put into it. But somehow it left you wounded. There's a wounding here that needs to be released, to be let go, so that you can move forward. Let's clarify this Ten of Swords, please. The Ace of Cups, yes, this new beginning. Once you release, take the time to heal, the new beginning comes in. The blessings, the abundance, the overflow, the peace, the, the harmony, the happiness, the joy. There's a necessity here for healing. For letting go of that heartbreak. Um, releasing the sorrow. Feeling it, acknowledging it. Working through it, taking your time to heal so that this world card, this new opportunity, this amazing um, opportunity filled with potential uh, can come in for you. All right. We have the Ten of Swords. Yeah. You need to put an end to that pain. You need to recover from the pain. You need to do what's necessary to heal. To move on. You're stuck. You need to do what's necessary to heal that broken heart so that you can move on into the potential that is there for you. We have the five of wands has to do with difficulty, with challenges. This is a challenge for you. Um, you're finding it difficult perhaps to do this healing. We have the strength. You don't have the strength. Wow, Aries. Let me see. What else do we have to clarify? The Ace of Pentacles. Yes, the gate is open. The opportunity is there to overcome the challenge, to move forward. Will you take it? Will you do the necessary healing? And will you move forward out of it? The Emperor and take control. Take control of your life, of where you are, of your destiny, of where you want to go. Don't let this old hurt, this old wound hold you back as it's doing now. You're tethered to this old wound. It's keeping you from 
fulfilling that potential, reaching um, that potential. Take the time you need. The Ten of Pentacles, look at that. Balance your energies. Weigh your options. Um, it's this gestation period is, you know, if you need to go within and spend some time feeling this, dealing with this, acknowledging the wound, the pain, the hurt, and um, healing from it so that you can move forward. Then this new opportunity comes in. The Queen of Pentacles here. Independence, nurturing, uh, security, the Ten of Pentacles, abundance, prosperity, wealth, and the death, and the death. The end of something, the beginning of something new. Um, there's a need to do a deep dive here. Uh, take a, an honest look within. What aren't you dealing with? What aren't you accepting, acknowledging? Um, what healing needs to be done that you have been avoiding? What issue? What has been such a letdown and has caused you so much pain and yet you don't look at it? You don't deal with it and it holds you back. It keeps you back from the abundance, from the, the potential, the possibilities. Take control. Put an end to the heartache. Deal with it. Put an end to it. Move on from it. The magician is over here to create magic as well. And you have the world card, the magician here, the queen of swords here, the clarity. Um, the hermit jumped out as well, which indicates the need for solitude contemplation to gain higher understanding, wisdom, and knowledge in the situation. Whatever's going on here, the king of cups in reverse, not in touch with your emotions. Blocking off those emotions, not dealing with those emotions, perhaps. The star. Possibilities. Wishes and dreams fulfilled. There's an opportunity here. And the magician again. Get in touch with your feelings. Acknowledge your feelings. Deal with your feelings. What do you wish for? What do you hope for? What do you seek to manifest? Let go of those things from the past. Those past hurts. Whatever this was um, that broke your heart. That caused the sorrow. So much so that you can't see the opportunity, the abundance that's coming in for you. You need to release it. You need to step into your power. You're allowing this to weaken you, to pull you down, to hold you back and keep you from entering into that abundance, that opportunity, that success. That can be yours. It is there for you. That inner fulfillment, bliss, happiness, joy. Let's clarify this. Nine of Cups. Justice. Being patient. Um, making wise decisions. Weighing things in the balance. Being fair in your judgment. Being honest. Coming from a place of integrity. The Page of Pentacles. Investing in yourself. Your growth, your future, your health, your well-being, your success, your career, your education. There's something coming in the, to give you the opportunity to invest in yourself. The 
Seven of Cups. So many distractions, so many options, so many choices to be made. Weigh them all in the balance. Weigh them all in the balance. What is your dream? What do you seek to manifest? Let go of the heartache. Do the necessary healing. Put it to death. Put it behind you. Step forward into new, renewed energy, um, renewed hope. Take that time to heal. We have the hanged man here. Gaining perspective and understanding. Again, taking that much needed time for reflection, for perspective, to gain insight, understanding, um, another point of view, perhaps. Every situation we have, whether it's painful, um, damaging to us, um, hurtful, is a growing opportunity. Don't let it hold you down and bind you up. Use it as an opportunity to move, to grow and move forward, to learn. Um, let me see what we have for the hanged man here. We have the nine of pentacles, independence, security, confidence. Move forward with confidence. We have the devil. What holds you back? And I'm sorry, I have a glare on these cards. I forgot. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> the devil card coming up here. There's something in the way. Something that needs to be released. Something needs to be released. Let go of. You need to release yourself from the bondage that this experience is causing. And the only way to do that is to face it, deal with it, own it, accept it, feel it, and then get past it, move past it. Miracles can happen for you when you allow that healing the Four of Swords, that time of rest, again, contemplation, meditation, recovery, that time of recovery. We have the Queen of Swords here. All right. We have the Ten of Cups. Using that intellect, that wisdom, to create that abundance, that joy, that bliss, that happiness that, that you seek. The Knight of Cups. Ooh, an offer coming in here. Offer coming in. Heartfelt offer. This is something emotional. Something from the heart coming in. Um, Something. And the Seven of Pentacles. Things are coming to fruition. Things are coming to fruition. The seeds you've planted, the work you've put in, it is creating growth. Let's clarify the hermit. The Six of Pentacles. Ah, we need to examine and see if everything is balanced. Do you have balance? Is there reciprocal energy in your relationships? Perhaps that was the problem here. There was no reciprocal energy. Perhaps you were giving it all. You were putting all the work in. And there was a heartache because things did not work. Um, take the time. Gain a higher perspective and a higher understanding. Where do you need to balance things out? in your uh, resources, your finances, 
your energies, your um, relationships? Where are there imbalances that need to be balanced? If it's impossible to balance a relationship, if there is no hope of reciprocal energy, perhaps it's time uh, to end that relationship. Cut that person loose. Cut them out <laughs> with that intellect, that decisive action that the King of Swords would demonstrate. And we end here with the Hermit as well. So this solitude, this going within, gaining higher perspective is very important here. We have the Hermit twice in this set. We have the Magician twice in here. Um, know that the resources are available to you to create, to manifest the life that you seek to manifest. The dream, the goal, the intention, whatever it is. Gain perspective and understanding. Gain that higher knowledge. Go within and find that. Look at the bottom of this deck. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Slow, steady action. Planting seeds, moving toward the goal. Okay, I'm going to pull another oracle here. So there is healing here that needs to be done. It's necessary. Don't run away from it. Don't hide from it. Deal with it. Confront it. Take control. Take um, your power back. Do that healing. And come out the other side with, in this opportunity um, to manifest, to create. The possibilities are there for you, for your dreams, your wishes, your goals, your intentions to become fulfilled, for you to live that fulfilling life. Um, looks like to me in December, it's all about a healing miracle for you, doing the healing work and turning things around in your favor, taking the opportunity. Let me see. What do we have here? All right. Activation. Spirit, guardian of spring. Look at that. What comes after the gestation in winter? But the spring, when things begin to sprout. Um, things are renewed. There's new life. Things are fresh and new. So realize as you go through the difficult time, as you do the healing, as you address the pain, that on the other side of it is that, that new life. That new life. The possibilities. The growth. The blessings. Let me pull a rune here. We have Sawilo. This is very positive and, and um, <laughs> all about opportunity. It's all about life force energy, the optimism, the inner drive, things coming to a happy conclusion, those opportunities coming through for you. You um, have what you need to create to manifest your success, your victory. You just can't do it without first dealing with the issue, the pain, confronting it, dealing with it, feeling it, and then moving on and moving into the opportunity. Um, don't run away from it. Don't hide from it, Aries. This is a time of growth and healing for you. Embrace it. This is what I have for you, Aries, for the month of December. Have a blessed month and a Merry Christmas.